you know, crunching up. Okay. So by the way, if you think I'm flexing hard, this is my grandmother's uh, computer. Just use my laptop here and just connecting the two mice, the mouse and um, keyboard. So it's not that I'm dual screening. This is just my man's iMac and this is my laptop. So it's been a while since I've uh, done a video, especially vlogged in a while, or it's more of an inside quarantine vlog. And I just want to address on this um, because it's very popular. I know that people must be so like aggravated because of the word, especially I'm not going to say the word, I'm just going to say COVID-19 because I feel like that sounds more professional than the actual other word, especially in my school. Um, people like to throw it here and then everywhere because if someone like sneezes or coughs, but it's just all about being like safe. And I know that a lot of my friends and people in my circle are quite worried about this because like half of us do do photography and videography and do it not as a career but we do make like some of our money from it it's a lot of trouble now like we just got confirmation from Boris Johnson and as we've seen elsewhere in other countries that also have fantastic you must stay at home because the critical thing we must do to stop the disease spreading between so the UK's Prime Minister said it first that we have to stay indoors and that's it's a lot of trouble for us especially as young people because we do like to explore even half the time we're like oh yeah we just want to stay at home like we don't want to go out we don't want to go to school but as soon as everyone's locked indoors everyone wants to go out and I don't well it is necessary for a lockdown that we don't spread the virus as fast as possible but it's also that it's hurting a lot of other people's careers like small businesses and freelancers as well but hopefully like Bob, well further on in the um, announcement he did say that they're going to review the changes every three weeks so hopefully in the next three weeks it just dies down or even it just goes away like the whole thing just blows over but that's hopefully um fingers crossed because Honestly, I just want life to go back to normal and because they say that they're going to take away the Easter holidays and that kids for at school need to go back into school during the Easter holidays, that's just, I don't want that to happen. I just want this to be a one week thing where we're just gone. It's not going to be a week, but like, it's good to have hope, um, wishes and hopes. But yeah, I just, content's going to be hard. Like, it's going to be really hard. Like, I didn't want to try fly to Norway during um, the Easter holidays for like four days to a vlog there and take brilliant pictures there but because of this whole virus and lockdown and people closing their borders it's going to be a massive trouble I can't I maybe can't do it anymore like I was looking on Skyscanner this is not a sponsored video by the way but Skyscanner they see different um, flights where you want to go and they try to find the best and cheapest flight and I saw a price to go to Oslo, Norway for £19 and it was what? It was £14 there and a couple pounds back, I'm not too sure but the prices do fluctuate so you have to be quick with booking 
So that did kind of tick me off because that was a great opportunity, but I think the prices were low because of the virus. But I have to say to all my um, fellow freelance photographers and videographers out there, stay strong, recycle old content, and also, I don't know, just be creative inside your own house. It's gonna be hard here because I'm just, it's not like I'm in the middle of nowhere, but I'm very strict parents, I'm not allowed to go outside, and I'm not just shaking. I'm just, I need to catch up on homework as well, so this is a good opportunity. I am going to be kind of documenting my experience during the quarantine because this feels so surreal this feels like it feels like a like a movie it feels like the beginning of the division and like it's so crazy that in today's society i said the word society but today we are we were not prepared we were seriously not prepared for this and like like um what's his name bill gates said we we will never be prepared for a massive pandemic like this so I don't know, maybe the people who, a um, couple, maybe months ago, or years ago, who always hoarded a lot of stuff saying, oh, there's going to be a mass extinction and all that. They were the smart people because they must have predicted this exact moment. But I have to say, just keep strong. I'm going to be posting um, stuff what I do regularly. Well, without, within the house, so I'm going to start a workout routine, um, a home workout routine. I really do want to try and get a six pack for the summer, get the guns out because I used to do boxing before and I'm just rambling on but I used to do boxing before and I kind of slowed down um, around September I really slowed down and I started to put the weight back on so I need to do that get back into shape so I feel good I'm gonna do um, a lot of homework get all my coursework out like done and out of the way so I'm like all I need to do is just revise English and then what maybe just go um, go learn some new stuff maybe um, learn how to extend photography learn how to start my own business this that and the other so if you guys did like this video please leave a thumbs up and hopefully you guys are safe and keep your loved ones close and keep the virus away from you guys and also stay indoors and i'll see you guys in the next video peace